If your site falls within 10 kilometers of an outbreak, then you'll be within a surveillance zone and you have a requirement to protect your birds from avian influenza. So there isn't actually a housing order that's associated with a surveillance zone, but it might be that there's a housing order in place in addition to you being in a surveillance zone. So it's really important that you check the maps, sign up to the APHA's alerts or register your flock to find out which applies to you and when. Now you're not allowed to move either live birds or hatching eggs without a license, so head to the relevant pages to acquire a movement license if this is necessary. You can still sell table eggs from the farm gate, but please keep an egg diary. So record the number of eggs you're going to put out and the date that they've gone out there so that you can show that to the epidemiologists if necessary. Now poultry litter should be kept on site, so try and compost it at home, it shouldn't really be leaving. And you should be enacting good biosecurity to prevent any virus entering your flock. So when you're looking at disinfectants, please make sure you choose one that's government approved for avian influenza. Now keep visitor records if you do have to have visitors visit your birds, but I strongly suggest that you show them lots of pictures instead. Bird gatherings are banned in this zone as well. Now if there's a housing order in place as well, then you need to fulfil those requirements of that housing order. Have a look at the declarations on the relevant websites. If you're not sure and you're worried at all, you're much better off housing them than letting them out. So check your zone on the website, the map's really, really useful on there, and do read the declarations on the relevant websites as well to make sure you comply and keep your birds safe.